Interesting. That's no problem, dear. Has it been long you came? About 20 minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's no problem. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> Have you met my sister, Nenka? Nenka, this is my guardian angel I told you about over the weekend. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Please be comfortable. Excuse me. It's all right. Thank you. So, what can I offer you? If you receive this from me, this is the best offer you can give to me. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, you got me a Rolex? All for you, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate. Wow. Are you sure you don't want anything? Not at all. Let me get you champagne. And it don't, you can't come to my house and not want anything. Allow me to take you out and spoil you a little. I'm ready. Sorry. Whenever you want. <laughs> Let me quickly go and keep my gifts. So when are you visiting? Of course I'm missing you. I can't wait to see you. Alright, bye. I go love you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are beaming with so much smile. Thank you. It's obvious you are so in love with this guy. Thank <laughs> you. love you. You see? Nenka, I feel this man is everything I have ever asked God for. He completes me. Look, whenever we're together, I just don't want to leave his arms because I love him so much and I just want to remain in his arms forever. <laughs> okay, that is so sweet to hear. But have you asked him about his mother in case he wants to make things um, permanent? Why do you think I love him so dearly if I haven't asked? Of course I have. My dear, now God give me this one, no. Oh. 
<laughs> I can remember his face the day I asked him. He was sober. What is it? Okay. I've been meaning to ask you something. Okay, go on. What about your parents, your mom? You've never said anything about them to me. <sighs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't remind you. About anything. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Listen, pain is inevitable. But whatever you're going through, you have my shoulders to lean on. I know how you feel. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I will be your mother and I will be your father. Okay? Come. Come. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine, okay? His mother is late. I told you I will find my dream man. And now you have your dream man. Oh, yes. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Since you are beaming, you are just smiling. Na love. <laughs> Na love, Kosambo. <laughs> oh, Maxwell. <sighs> the food is ready. I can perceive it already. You can say that again. You know what? You call me the professional chair. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you want it? Going down to the dining table, or I should bring it up here for you. Bring Shall it up you? to me. Mm. Treat me like a queen. You can say that again. Like your queen. Mm, you are my queen. <laughs> <laughs> a minute, honey. All right. <laughs> For you, Thank this you. is so beautiful. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> okay, right now we have a wedding to plan. Yes, sir. Our wedding to plan. Yes, sir. Mrs. Uh, Maxwell, Maxwell Lodi. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> to me 
So your mother is still alive. Why did you keep such a thing away from me? To think I asked you and you literally acted like you were in pain and sad and I consoled you the whole time. Babe, I didn't lie to you. I didn't. We never discussed if my mother was alive or dead. What do you mean we never discussed it? It was right on this bed that I asked you. In quote, I said, you have never said anything about your parents to me. And you pretended like you were sad? Why didn't you come up with the whole truth? What truth are you talking about? That was because we were not in talking terms. We have been having issues for years now. I've missed that motherly care. And I'm not happy about it. Whenever I'm asked about my mother, it makes me feel so bad, like I'm always sad about that. And it's not good. It's not good because she left my life for a very long time. I've not, I've, I've not felt her presence. Baby, I didn't lie to you. I can't believe this. Okay now, come on baby, see. We are getting married. And I can't continue like this with my mother. We had to make up. Come to think of it, she will be giving us the motherly blessing and treat you like a true princess that you truly are. It's a thing of joy for the both of us, honey. You need to understand. Please. Please. I didn't lie to you. But wait a minute. Why do you have a problem in introducing you to my mother? What's your reason? I have my reason. Reason best known to me. Excuse me. See, baby. Please, please, please. Tracy! Tracy! Tracy, it's okay. It's fine. Everything will be so fine, please. But you know, on a second thought, I, I just feel it's time you, you will consider your decision. Think about your, your decision. Just, do you understand? Because you and I know that you love Maxwell so much and you would not want to lose him. So please, I think you should just think over this thing He again. lied to me. Totally. Because you, you were you were anxious, you were fast about everything. Your anxiety, everything just the guy did not tell you anything like promptly. You just you assumed in your head. Please. I will not marry him. What? That's not fair. After everything you guys built together, that's not that's that's not right. And please. I just feel that Maxwell and the mother are not the kind of people you think they are. I will not take that risk. I am done with him. I do not want to ever see Maxwell in my life again. Ever! Tess. Are you okay?
Tess, you know at this point, you do not have a choice. And you cannot even think about abortion. It's not possible. Father warned us squarely that if we ever do abortion, we would die. And we promised him never to do it, you know. <laughs> Secondly, you cannot face the shame of being a single mother. You can't. Use me as an example, just look at me. It's not easy to be a single mother, and you know it. Where you have the man that got you pregnant, who is willing to take care of you and his child. So please, I would advise you to just take away this fear and go marry the man that got you pregnant, the father of your child. Go and marry him. I'm always here for you whenever you want to talk to anybody. I'm here. I'm your sister. Come talk to me. I'll listen to you. But please, go and marry the father of your child. You go on them. There and there, I knew I had no choice than to marry Maxwell. But I swore to myself that I would attack before his mother strikes. I promised myself that I would not give her any breathing space in my husband's house. Because I knew that the best form of defense is attack. I adopted that principle as we got married. Even though the woman was very nice to me, I had already built myself positioned myself to what I wanted. I'm sorry for keeping you, my son. I have knocked at the door there. She refused to open the door. I know it's my daughter-in-law. She has refused to open the door. And I called my son. The phone is not going on. Hey, please. No, as we uh, will be going since, but because you are your age and all this, you don't have to be, be outside by this time. Yes, my son. I don't know what to do. I'm just coming from the village. I don't know anybody here. I don't know anywhere to go. Hey? OK. No problem. I'll take you to my house. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring you back. Yeah. Yes. You take me to your house? Yes, ma'am. Chai. Hey, my son. No problem. Let me God open bless. Let me open the door. Just shut up and listen to me. What's wrong with you? You have no logical reason to justify your barbaric act. Locking my mother outside the house? Her son's house! Point of correction, it is my husband's house and also my house. I was only trying to be safety conscious. You were not around and it was late. I thought she would sleep wherever she went to. That's why I asked the car for not to open the gates. 9 p.m. is late, Daisy. What is wrong with you? What kind of beast have you allowed to possess you? What has my mother done to you? Look at her legs. 
She's limping today all because of you. When will you stop this barbaric act of yours? You see, I said it. I knew you would always support your mother. I told you this from the onset, oh. I said all this. Hey, I shut up! Will you stop this emotional blackmail bullshit you're giving to me? What's wrong with you? You are wrong. You are totally wrong. Listen to me, Tessie. This has to stop. Let it not ever repeat itself. Nonsense. Why are you asking me stupid question? Oh, you're no longer lame. Now blindness has joined. She, you always report me to my husband. Go and report now. He has traveled. It's just me and you in this house. There will be no food for you in this house till I decide otherwise. Useless old witch. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah? You want to now form Kodal's here? Maxwell is not around though. It's just me and you. 